Come on. Come on, give me the emerald. Come on. Ah. Oh, sorry, I was distracted by this slot machine. I would like to introduce to you. Uh, this is a build I just made, and I'm really proud of it. Uh, the wolfing was inspired by Mumbo Jumbo's wishing well that I altered a little bit. So I'm gonna leave a link to his build to give credit because it's awesome. And it's like a gambling machine you can place on your server or in your casino on the server. And the first thing that we can say that uh, in the wishing well that Mumbo made, he mentioned that everything can be stolen, but if the server is not grief protected, that doesn't matter where you place the dispenser, people are just gonna destroy everything and take it. So I suppose that your server is grief protected and you don't have to worry about things like this. So let's get going. So first of all you're gonna need three chests on top of each other and hopper running into each of them and destroy this chest here. Make two hoppers run out of that and it's gonna be the basic of our build. So we're gonna build three blocks like this and around just half slabs, it's just a design element. And then you're gonna make your first wire. I'm gonna make it with blue but you can use any kind of blocks. So place a block there and comparator so it runs out of this uh, hopper. Two more blocks here, a stone dust here and a repeater coming out of that block into another block and next to it a redstone line. Here you're gonna place two blocks so these redstone lines won't collide. Then a block here and the redstone torch here. So now you can make the payment system. So I'm gonna use diamonds but you can use any stackable item and it's important that it's stackable. And you're gonna need 23 of them. So you're gonna just put it like here and it's gonna flow in like until it's 18 and it's gonna be one in here and the rest is here, you can take it out. Now if you pay diamonds it's gonna be activate the system and it's gonna be a diamond there. And if you mm, drop anything else inside it's gonna be taken but it's gonna be in this chest and it won't activate the system. So uh, that's it for the blue wire. Now we're gonna do the red wire system which is gonna include the dispenser. So get a dispenser or dropper and place it here and cover it with blocks. Then you're gonna get a redstone torch on this block, place a red block on this redstone torch, another redstone torch and another block there, block on the dropper, block there and redstone dust on there. And now you can place any item here, for now it's gonna be redstone. And we can test the system. And we get the item. So it's working. Now I would like to add some kind of indication system that shows the player that all the items are out of the dispenser and you can't really play anymore. For this I'm gonna use a redstone lamp. So place one there and blocks around it like previously. Then place a block there. Uh, and take a comparator signal out of that block which is the power of the mm, dropper then place a block here and the rest on torch on top of it then we place another block of, on top of this rest on torch a rest on torch there a block there a block there and we need rest on dust on top of it like that so now the lamp is on and if the game is empty or is out, the lamp won't glow. So there's the lamp indication system. The last thing I would like to add is a safeguard which is going to prevent players throwing diamonds into this uh, hopper if the game is empty because you know when someone was walking around looking at this and the lamp is off it's okay it's not working but someone's playing throwing diamonds inside and you won't look up every time, so it's gonna just take its items and the player's gonna be angry at you. So a fail safe system or fail guard system is gonna come in handy here. So for this we're gonna use this block and place the rest on torch on the side. And you're gonna do this shape here and 
place rest on this here. Then you're gonna place rest on all there. Blocks like that. Rest on this there. And a block there. And the rest on all there. So now you can safely play and the system is gonna giving items to you. Of course you should place signs like wait till the system gives you the price or you might lose items. So let's say the game is almost empty or the dropper is almost empty, only three items left in, the player plays, alright one item, I'm gonna play another one, another one, and another one, and oh, the diamonds won't go inside because the game is out. And once it's refilled, it's alright, you can play once another time. Also another thing that makes me like this build is that it adds another level of fairness to the game, to this little mini game. So let's take this torch out. Let's say someone comes here and says he's just gonna want to play like, I don't know, 15 times and he can chuck 15 diamonds inside. And the system gonna give one item and the rest is gonna land in this chest. And he's gonna be angry. This system doesn't fix this problem totally, but makes it a bit better because the players get like uh, an item for every three of their items. Let's just place it here and see how it works. One, two, it should be five, three, four, and five. And no more, I think. Yes. So, and just gonna chuck another 15 there and talk. So, the system which travels up to the dispenser powers this redstone grid, which makes this hopper stop uh, pushing items out, which gonna make the system wait. Then push items forward, three items travels, and the system will be activated. Again there, again the redstone line travels up and it's gonna be activated. By I mean the dropper gonna be activated. It's a bit complex and I might not be the best person to explain how redstone works. And I have to be honest that it was an accident that this safeguard or what happened here or this <laughs> fairness, eff fairness efficiency but I'm pretty happy about it so now what you can do is uh, of course fill in these items make the price right, make the winning right, make it a fair game also I like to place an item frame here so players know what items they have to chuck in here to play and in the start of the video I mentioned that you can set the price so for this uh, you're gonna use this place. If you want two items, like players have to uh, place two items there, you're gonna set this repeater to the fourth stick and to restore or restart the system you're just gonna throw an item in. And you could previously see that there were 18 items in here, now it's 17. So you need two items uh, to activate the system, one and two and it gave me an item 1 and 2 and it gave me an item if I want to the players to give 3 items I'm gonna need 2 repeaters on the 4 stick and make this line longer and I'm just gonna chuck 2 items like restore the previous settings and now it's reset 1, 2, nothing happens 3, you wait and your item is there. If you want to make it like, I don't know, 5, then you're gonna 3, 4, 5. And make the rest of line longer, so you can expand it infinitely. Almost. And 1, 2, 3 to reset. Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, nothing happens here. Five. There we go. The problem is with this system that it takes a long time the signal to travel. So I suggest one or maximum of two items, but it depends on you. So there's that. If you have anything else to ask, feel free to ask in the comments. Leave a like, and if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.